Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do that over? Yep. Hey, welcome back to Serve Neat. We're doing another Thirsty Thursday episode. We're here at Prime 1079 inside the Sheraton. We're here with Donna. She's gonna make us some fantastic drinks, so come on in and check it out. And now we're inside. We're here with Donna. She's gonna make us a couple of drinks. But before we get into that, let's talk about Sheraton a little, little bit. Um, we're located right here off Stevens Creek Road. We are a full hotel, which means we have full amenities, full kitchen. We have a bar. We have two pools outside and inside in the hot tub. Um, it's actually very quaint, very nice. I like to call it Hidden Gem. Not a lot of people know about us, but we're a great place to come on the weekends if you want to get away from and have a place to go. Okay, so how long have you been here? Um, I've been here four years. I've been here. I love it here. It's a great place to work. It's easy to work here because I work with such great people. And it's just a very enjoyable place to work. And how long have you been bartending? Because I know you've been bartending actually before this also, right? Um, I'm an oldie but a goodie. I've been bartending for, I did the math the other day, 16 years, so for quite a while. <laughs> we're making three drinks here? Yes, we're going to be making three drinks this afternoon. We're going to be making a Jamaican Sunset, which is um, basically a rum drink, and it's got fruit juices. The second one's going to be a Ginger Cosmo, which is um, a more adult version of your Cosmo. It's a little bit sexier. And then we're going to be doing Afternoon on the Green, which is going to be a cucumber-ish mojito style drink. Sweet one, we got a refreshing one, and a summer drink, so we're going to be trying here today. And they're all on the menu. We can get them anytime. Does the menu kind of change throughout the season, or is it um, kind of Not so same? much the cocktails, but we do change our draft beers throughout the year. Um, we have all craft draft beers, which we change out, um, and our wine list tends to drink, um, change out. And we do do specialty drinks, depending on the season, like fall coming up. You know, we're going to include our pumpkin-y pumpkin drinks and stuff like that. So. Nice. Nice, and I see you have a couple of local ones. Savannah River, we have River Watch, um, and then I have a couple of other craft beers. We have our Clown Shoes, which is out of Massachusetts. Um, Truck Stop Honey, which is, I believe, out of Alabama. And then, of course, we have, have Stella on draft. So now we're going to go into the first one, and um, I'll let Donna take it away. So the first drink we're going to be making is going to be the Jamaican Sunset. A little bit of a cardi. Malibu. To orange and pineapple juice. A little bit of grenadine on the bottom. Then we're going to do a float of Myers at the top. One Jamaican sunset. All right, so here's our first drink. Um, I don't, I'm gonna show you. We got three different layers. We got the rum at the bottom. We got the orange and pineapple, and then of course we got the grenadine that's gonna be at the bottom right there. Um, so let's try that now. Do people normally kind of mix that up or kind of drink it the way it is right there? Kind of mix it up, get all the flavors together. Yeah, this is your poolside drink. This is what you would have if you're coming here to enjoy our lovely pool and you just want to have a nice, you know, tropical moment out of the pool. So let's try the drink. <laughs> it's good flavors. Yeah, you can really, you can literally taste the difference, different liquors that are in there. So that's, that's very nice, but perfect for the pool, like you said. Great for this hot, hot Georgia weather. Yeah. Very nice, very cold, smooth flavors. You can really taste some olive oil in there. And that's, you know, coconut kind of flavor. I'm about to drink it all. <laughs> but. That's what people say when they drink their drinks. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so now we're gonna try our second one, and it's called what now? Ginger Cosmo. Ginger Cosmo, so it's a twist on the Cosmopolitan? Yeah, it's um, it's a twist on your average Cosmopolitan. It's a little bit more adult, a little bit more sexier. You know, it's got that ginger feel to it, so it's a little more for the mature palate. All right, so let's check that out. I'm gonna get some of this Barrow's Intense Ginger. Some 
Cointreau. Fresh lime juice. And of course your cranberry juice. So now we're trying our second drink. Uh, it has a beautiful dark pinkish color. I'm gonna let you see that right there. Um, you know, normally a Cosmo is a little bit lighter, so, um, but it is a more adultish version of a Cosmopolitan. So let's try it. And uh, the, the, the ginger flavor in it really pops out. You got a little bit of cranberry flavor in it, but the ginger is like your highlight of that. Drink is absolutely fantastic. Definitely check it out. And then you can ask Donna what you can get to eat while you're drinking on this cocktail. So check it out. Um, I heard you have a pretty big, extensive list of, of wines that we have here. Yeah, we do. We have um, a pretty, um, like you said, extensive wine list. Um, we have everything from your dry whites to your um, sweet whites and then we have um, a great selection of red wines um, we we really went above and beyond to create a very good wine list so i mean you can eat dinner here and basically have any kind of wine to pair with what we should eat so the restaurant part actually doesn't open until five o'clock yes. we got a full bar here mm -hmm. so you can do that the wine list is um it's always available to you ask donna or whoever else is behind the bar what food goes great with which cocktail or wine that you're gonna choose for for that night. Let's go to our third one. It's a, a little refreshing drink. Uh, another one of those summertime drinks. Afternoon on the green. Right, awesome, so let's try that next. We're gonna muddle some uh, cucumbers. We're gonna add some simple syrup. We're gonna add some fresh lime juice to that. We're gonna add some Bombay Sapphire. Pack it full of ice. We're gonna to top this off with some One afternoon on the green. All right, so now we are on our third drink. Uh, so let's try it. It's very light. Um, the cucumbers are is definitely very uh, full coming on this one. But definitely, if you, you're watching your calories, this is the drink to go. Uh, you don't have to worry about all those other, you know, simple syrups or anything. So perfect, if, again, if you're outside or if you're watching your calories. Uh, this will be the drink to, to order here. Um, again, we are really close to the Nationals, um, so they kind of made that drink to go along with that, the golf theme for this one. Thank you very much to Donna for making those fantastic drinks for us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos, and as always, serve it neat.